When you pick up your prescription, do you even think about whether or not it's the correct dosage or even the right one? Mistakes at the pharmacy are happening more often than you think, and 13 is on your side with how to make sure you're getting the prescription you paid for. Helping us out is Mike Kelzer from the Business of Pharmacy podcast. So what is causing all of these mistakes at the pharmacy? It's busy, a lot of prescriptions being filled. A lot of times people don't have access to just sit and talk with a pharmacist like they used to. Um, it's coming from all sides, the pressure to get things done and make more money and, and squeeze the profits. Right, and especially when you go to a, a place, you know, that might have a pharmacy within its store, they're sometimes asked, you know, sometimes I'll have things in my hand, I'll be like, would you like me to ring those up for you? And I always feel like it's kind of odd to have <laughs> that happen, but I'm like, well, it's convenient for me. Yeah. So, yeah. You're doing multitasking. Multitasking, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, how often are they happening? More? You're finding it more common? I think mistakes are going to happen more and more. The New York Times came out with an article that it's just uh, they're they're getting more and more when when pharmacists are squeezed to do more and more. Yeah, because you don't have that extra checkpoint. You, know? you don't have the extra checkpoint. You don't have more eyes on it, and so uh, they're happening. So the consumers have to be aware. Okay, and you've got some tips for how they can be aware, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, th the tips would be one is when you come from the doctor's office, make sure that any paper that you have from the doctor matches what's on your actual bottle. Make mm. sure the name's not just close, it should be the exact drug name that's, that's on the paperwork or the discharge notes that you got from your doctor. Right, um, and, but sometimes that paperwork just goes right to the pharmacy, you don't even see it, right? Yeah, usually the doctor will give you some kind of a discharge note, okay. and if they don't, I would say, what's, can I have my discharge notes okay. from the receptionist at the doctor's office? And the nice thing about that is sometimes also they're written out you know, by the computer instead of the doctor, so easier to read. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, and check the name of the drug. You just assume that it's gonna match, right? Yeah, make sure there's something that's corresponding the name of the drug from the doctor to what's on your actual bottle. All right, and you've got another tip too about um, going online. Yeah, then I would go online. So if you, have, if, if you haven't been able to talk to a pharmacist to ask these questions, then go online and make sure that the drug, pull up the drug and make sure it has something to do with your disease state. You know, if, 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 if you go on there and you, you went in for a cold and the drug you're reading about is for athlete's feet or something like that, you know that there was right. a, maybe a mistake somewhere oh in, the, in the program. And you just don't even think. You pop the pill and you go wonder you why you're you not getting better. You don't think about it, mm -mm. no. No. And then also, tablet dosage is important. Well, yes, both. One, the tablet is important. So what I would do is now you can go on Google. I would take the tablet. It's harder with a liquid. But with the tablet, I would go on and find an imprint. If it says J5 or something on the tablet, it's a blue tablet, type that into Google and be sure that what Google comes back with is the same tablet that's inside of your inside of your bottle. Okay, and then also the dosage important too. Yeah, and then finally the dosage, because something could say take 10 of this, and if you see the average dose is one, you know there could be a problem there too. Now, none of this is saying that it's absolutely wrong, but that would be, that would urge you then to go actually talk to someone if you weren't able to do so originally. Right, it just seems like we're having to do more and more work ourselves to try to make sure we're getting the right medication. I think so, and you gotta do it across the board in, in the pharmacy, in the hospital, everywhere. You gotta really be watching out for yourself. Yeah, you have to be your own best consumer advocate. You, you sure advocate. do, yeah. All right, well thanks for the tips, Mike. Of course, if you'd like to learn more about what's happening in the pharmacy world, you can listen to Mike's podcast, The Business of Pharmacy. I've got a link for you on 13onyourside.com. Thank you.